Uh, a little change of pace. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Austin. Uh, ATX. Yeah, it's it's my hometown, but it's it's not the same city. I no, no anymore. Austin's um, changed drastically. But, yeah. You know. Where uh, where did you go to high school? Um, I went to high school here. Okay. I went to high school in White House. Oh, okay. okay. I think I'm still culture shocked from the change from Austin to Tyler. Okay, but, okay. Um, yeah. You're, you're a wild cat. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's funny. I don't play uh, uh, that. What, what high school would you have went in Austin? Um, I remember? lived all over oh, Austin, okay. so uh, there's really no telling. My parents move us around every couple of years, uh, okay. trying to improve our living situation. Gotcha, gotcha. Us. No, and, 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 I, and I completely know the, how that goes. Do you have any, like, childhood experience in Austin that maybe you can share with my viewers, like, something cool about Austin or bad? Um, you know... Well, what I, is it about I, Austin that you just really love? I really love that nobody cares about your background. Nobody cares what you drive, how much money you have, what you're wearing. Um, they don't. They don't care what color you are, what religion you are. They don't care about any of that. If you're cool, they're cool. Um, it's it's not clicky, or at least it wasn't that when that was my home. Uh, there is no automatic judgment against people. Right. Um, I, I don't know if it's the same way now, but I know I was shocked when I came to East Texas and somebody didn't like what I was wearing and I overheard a conversation where people were saying negative things about my clothing. What were you wearing? Um, shirt and pair of pants. <laughs> I, oh. I didn't care, but I, I, I was taken aback that other people would. Um, I got made fun of for being poor. Uh, and I never experienced that in Austin. So, even, even though we joke about as you being uh, ethnically indifferent <laughs> or challenged or whatever, you as a Caucasian woman coming to a predominantly Caucasian area, you had white people calling you Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, funny enough, I, I had a teacher that saw my parents together. Right. And at the time, my father's not very dark complected now, but at the time he was he was very dark. Okay. And my mother is very fair skinned. Okay. Um, and she was cool with me until both of my parents came to pick me up at the same time. And from then on, that teacher had it out for me. I made her a Valentine's card, I'll never forget this, got the entire class to sign it, she threw it away in front of me. Why do you think that she had it out for you? Because you're a darker complected father? Um, she did not believe in mixing a racist. Wait, wait, so, so hold on, hold on, what's your dad? Um, my dad's, I mean, as far as I know, Native American. Um, he's got some European ancestry too, and okay. um... But it's predominantly Native. He, he looked very native at okay. that time. So, um, but you, you don't really have a relationship with your father is what you're getting at? No, I do. I oh, do. okay, okay. The thing is, three out of four of my grandparents grew up without parents. Oh, One okay. or both parents. Okay, um, okay. So tracing my ancestry is just not not a doable Feasible. thing. You know, they didn't keep records back then. Okay, okay. Um, I do know through my mother's side there is some African ancestry mm -hmm. because we did find paperwork. But um, other than that... No, because you're, you're, you're a very beautiful woman, but you have, like, so much going on. The high cheekbone, the eye color, the, the dark hair. You're like, yeah. where are you? You know what I'm saying? I'm a woman. You know yeah, I, I, I get that question, and I never really have come up with a response for it, other than I'm, I'm just not a color. I'm, right. I'm, I am who I am. I can't tell you for certain one I'm direction or another. Motherfucking Jess Adams, that's who yeah, I am. Yeah, you want to assume I'm white, you can assume I'm white. You can, yeah. If you want to assume I'm not white, I don't really care. Um, right. Because to me, the color of somebody's skin is just completely irrelevant. Have you been back to Austin? You said you hadn't been. I moved back when I was 17. Okay. And stayed until I was 21. And, you know, it, it was very freeing. Um, what do you mean? It, I felt like I could be me again. Whereas here, I felt like a total misfit. I couldn't find anywhere where I seemed to fit. And in Austin, I didn't necessarily find anywhere where I fit, mm -hmm. but it didn't matter. The whole because, city. Yeah, it didn't matter because there were 
to my knowledge, I saw no clicks. There was no, oh, you can't hang out with us because you're not this type of person, or you can't hang out with us, or you're not athletic enough, or you're not grunge enough, or you're not <laughs> goth enough. And I never, I never experienced that in Austin, so it didn't matter where I. And you, you feel like that here because Tyler is super quick. Absolutely. Yeah, like that, Absolutely. that's. And, and I don't want to like shit on my own hometown, you know what I mean, but. God, yeah, Tyler, Tyler has is, amazing qualities. Don't yeah, yeah, wrong, yeah. But Tyler is it's it's like you have to be on a team. Yep. And I I don't I don't play that. I'm not on a team. I'm I'm just An who individual. I am. And if you're cool, I'm cool. That's how I've always been. You know, I I don't care what religion you follow. I don't care what color you are. I don't care how much money you have. None of that matters to me. It's who you are. As an individual person? Yeah, in your soul. Like, right, right. it's your spirit that matters.